Hello everyone, welcome to TechEQ channel. In this video, we are going to see how can we split our locator from the test. So whatever video or like whatever tutorial I have shown previous. So I was using all the locator in the same test. Uh, like in JavaScript, like how can we split into separate file and like uh, uh, manage like a page object. Uh, that's what we are going to see in this video, how to do it. Okay, so already I have written one simple test that uh, uh, go to Automa automationpractice.com then click on login email enter the email and password something like uh, this here click on sign in page sorry sign in button then uh, enter email address enter the password click on sign in button so this is what the test case we are going to do anyway I have I don't have login credential but just to uh, like show how to handle locator I, I just taken this so here is the locator so login button from the home page and these three locators are this four look like three are from sign in page so what I'm going to do this one I'm going to copy it and uh, here we have to create a separate uh, folder structure for a uh, like page objects like elements for different page we have to create a uh, like different json file for this maybe we can put it into anywhere for example fixture plugin support we, like we can put it anywhere but uh, the thing is like just to give a correct naming convention i'm going to create a new folder called uh, page objects page objects then uh, under that i'm going to create one more file called home page dot json homepage.json okay so json always start with curly brace in this i'm going to uh, use only one locator like a key and value so the key value is sign in button and value a.login so how can i use this in my test now it is like this only so const home page is equal to require it's like require D there maybe you can directly use cypress slash uh, uh, page objects that also you can use or uh, where i have created let me check yeah it's here or else what i'm going to do just use dot dot slash dot dot slash i have got page object folder next i got home page sorry home page dot json okay once i have done copy this home page here home page dot so the sign in button which i have created in that file will sh show in auto suggestions okay likewise if i want to create a separate json for these files right so what i will do i will create a login page dot json here again same json so maybe here we have multiple section like uh, this is registration this is login uh, this is stop it uh, something like that right so inside also we can create a, a kind of a section like that so for that maybe i will use login form okay one more again i by using comma i can create like registration form register form register form also i can create a locators in the login form what i will what i will use whatever i have created here email text box right maybe email text box email uh, sorry we have to use that value id actually with dash so this is the locator for email and uh, comma password text box again maybe password password and uh, one more for submit login maybe submit button submit okay submit button that locator also i have provided here is yes, again it's a id so 
registration also you can create and you can create multiple section like this with comma okay now i am going to use only this okay uh, email, email password and submit button now i want to import similar way how i imported home page i have to import constant login page require okay with quat page object login page here login page dot uh, sorry login form dot email text likewise login page login form password and login page dot login form dot submit button so this is how we have managed the uh, like locators okay if you again this locator these are same only right so maybe you can use it here also okay once done maybe what i will do i will try to run that simple test from the sample script if you if 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 there is any error in the import it will show it here maybe locator is not there or not does not exist something like that just wait for load the page yeah see uh, locator is coming so that so that means like it works fine so this is how we can make it organized uh, test instead of writing out code everything like we can split into uh, like page objects same way this uh, what is this uh, username and password also you can do it where i can use maybe in the fixture itself i can create a test data or else i can create one more file called login.json or you can create separate folder you can separate folder uh, with like test data inside you can create like this email and uh, in the email i i will just write dharmat gmail.com and password password okay so maybe import this file also how can you import like before we have imported like json file right likewise we can do that constant login uh, data require now maybe fixtures slash login dot json in that login dot json what and all we have i think email and password so when you are dragging this mouse you can see so instead of uh, using hard coded value you can put login dot uh, data email and login data dot password okay so again once i save let me check uh, test what's uh, going on it should fetch a value also from the json okay i think it's fetching email and password cool so now we have handled uh, uh, what like even locator is not hard coded value is not hard coded all are like we have managed to use even this file like we used to put in the base url right something like uh, cypress.json maybe if you put some base url uh, maybe that that we can do it anyway you guys know base url stuff otherwise you can just check the environment variable video okay okay guys i think uh, thanks for watching this video i think some people ask this uh, from long time this might be elf, helpful for them to create helpful like creating a framework or uh, some big script okay thanks for watching guys please subscribe to the channel if you like it